ResortLoop.com is brought to you by Joffrey's Coffee and Tea Company. Enjoy Joffrey's new single origin coffee, Peru Cafe Feminino. Available at Joffrey's.com and at the Joffrey's kiosk throughout the Disney parks and resorts. And the best part, the sale of Joffrey's Coffee Cafe Feminino gives back to worthy projects and programs that enhance the lives of women and their families in coffee communities. That's Joffrey's.com. Hi, Bob and Tim, or Tim and Bob. This is Owen, Brian, and Joan calling from Chef Mickey's at the Contemporary Resort. We love your podcast. Keep up the great work. Please stand clear of the doors. Por favor, manténganse alejado de las puertas. Ladies and gentlemen, this is our final boarding call, and the doors will be closing soon. Hey, everybody. Thanks for joining us. I'm Tim Scott. I'm Bob Collar. This is ResortLoop.com. Bob, this is episode 310. 310. Uh, happy spring, everybody. Happy spring. Spring has sprung. Spring has sprung. Love is in the air. No, that, we did that in February. That's so. true. <laughs> Any other place to enjoy spring than Chef Mickey's. Oh, how about that? Thank you, guys, for a uh, wonderful uh, show open, Owen, Brian, and Joan. Now, I don't know if they were there for breakfast or dinner Maybe did they have brunch? I don't know. They already didn't brunch anywhere. <laughs> well, I, I know you, I know you were uh, you were jonesing for some Mickey waffles not too long ago. I still am. So yeah, still am. Yeah. Uh, and don't forget, uh, we've got to thank our uh, staff leprechaun Scott Danzinger for Scott. Uh, our last our last show open. I appreciate that on uh, right after St. Patrick's Day. Yes. And um, the leprechauns were in the uh, in the show somewhere in the show, at least in the uh, inner workings of the computer, because uh, they kept trying to put the show out early. <laughs> <laughs> it's almost like somebody was tinkering with something. Tinkering. <laughs> Don't stir the tanks. <laughs> Don't as, stir the tanks. As somebody says. Oh, my goodness. I went early. Anyway, uh, everybody, thank you. And uh, again, happy spring. Hope everybody's enjoying their uh, their day and uh, didn't have uh, too much, uh, uh, you know, uh, Irish festivities over the weekend. Right. And uh, looking forward to Easter coming up. Going to be a wonderful Easter uh, break for a lot of uh, a lot of youngsters. And uh, hope some folks are going down to Walt Disney World. Oh, I'm sure. A, I'm sure a bunch are. Or any of the Disney parks, for that matter. <laughs> uh, Tim. Yes. What are we going to talk about today? Today, I'm going to kind of sit back and enjoy this show. <laughs> no, you're not. <laughs> no, you don't think so? <laughs> today, Bob is, he wants to rant a little bit. Uh, yeah. Like going to pile on. Uh, you know, it's okay. just, look, look I'm, I'm not, you, you guys know I love Disney. Disney's my, my place. I've been every year, almost my thing. <laughs> my entire life i i love it but universal studios down the street they are up the street however you want to look at it um you know they're stepping up their game big time tim oh i know big time constantly and and when you look at their time frames compared to the disney time frames i'm just i'm sitting here scratching my head and i i, I would like to understand but i'm really trying uh, i'm scratching my head now granted um, Disney, you know, they do it right. We all know they do it right. That's why we go there. But uh, they got to they got to speed up the process somehow. Um, I'm I'm looking. Okay, so uh, Avatar. They announced Avatar in 2011. Wow. St- might have some soft openings toward the end of this year. <laughs> do you think? So five, maybe five years. It's taken them to do this. Uh, Disney Springs, we talked about Disney Springs is that's at least you're seeing some progress at Disney Springs, but that was announced back in 2013. We're three years into it. We're still announcing new stuff coming, which is fine. Uh, but there's still an awful lot of construction walls up there. Um, whereas it, it, when you look at Universal and what was going on, what has been going on at Universal, you know, you had you had your Harry Potter. Uh, which they got up relatively quickly. Then mm-hmm. you then you had the Diagon Alley that they got up really quickly. In between there, they got uh, the Springfield um, uh, uh, Simpsons town. Well, in between those two, um, 
And now they've just announced, uh, of course, uh, not too long ago, they announced, of course, the Universal uh, Skull Island Reign of Kong. Oh, I'm hearing that's going to be fantastic. Uh, you got that Willy Wonka Chocolate Factory restaurant and, and chocolate store. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Um, we, we saw them. They, they put up that Cabana Bay uh, hotel relatively quickly. People love Cabana Bay. How People long? Talking yeah. to somebody about that yesterday, about Cabana Bay. Right, right. And how long did it take them to, to uh, get um, uh, Art of Animation up? That took a while. Well, yes, that took a while, especially if you consider when it was originally, part of it was originally built. <laughs> right. right. <laughs> so I don't know. I, I mean, they didn't, I don't think, I don't remember seeing them tearing down buildings and rebuilding them. So No, no. Uh, and then uh, they just announced uh, recently this new hotel, which really kind of bothers me. I got to tell you, this Sapphire Falls. Okay. Which is supposed to be done uh, this year. What did Sapphire Falls? Sapphire Falls sounds an awful lot like Paradise Falls from the movie Up. So, okay, so now they're kind of now they're taking stuff away from things that Disney is doing and kind of muddy in the waters, if you will. That okay. bo- that bothers me. That bothers you. That's it always bo- happened, though. It's what? That, that's always happened, and not necessarily at theme parks. But remember, yeah. Armageddon and Deep Impact came out at the same time. Well, true. Well, a Bug's Life and Ants came out like at the same time. Right, right. <laughs> so you know, I, the the waters are starting to get muddied, and now they 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 also have this Volcano Bay uh, water park. Yes, that, that's going to be coming out next year. Um, they announce these things, and then within two years, they're up and running. Disney makes announcements, and we've got three, four, five years before uh, we see anything. And I'm concerned with the the whole Star Wars land and the and Toy Story land and of course <laughs> Avatar if that ever comes to be, <laughs> um, and any new hotels. The, Disney's talking about putting in some new hotels, which we all would love to see, uh, but they can't be, in my opinion. And again, this is just my opinion. I'm I'm ranting. You are. You gave me a microphone. This is your fault. Oh my goodness! I knew it. <laughs> You I, knew it was, I knew in episode three ten this was all going to happen too. <laughs> I saw it writing on the wall. You, you for, had foreshadowing. Yes. Yep. Um, I, I got you know. Don't get me wrong. I got no problem. I don't like the cabanas at the poly because it takes away from the fireworks viewing. You know, I, I've said that before, uh, and that's so high end that. Folks like you and me most likely will never get to go and, no. and, and enjoy that. No. They're talking about doing the same thing over in uh, uh, the uh, Wilderness Lodge, putting more on the water cabana kind of type of things. Again, things we can't afford. Cabana Bay over at um, Universal, we can afford. The Sapphire Falls doesn't look bad. I mean, what... I'm worried that Disney is out, overpricing themselves out of the market. What do you think of that? Well, they, they definitely are adding a whole bunch of fees. Like this resort fee that's been rumored. Right. That makes me a little angry. Right. I always knew there was, there was one and it was built in. I mean, I'm not... I'm not what, what's the word I'm looking for? Naive. Right. To believe. That the resort fee or whatever fees they are weren't built into the room. Now they're adding it on top. Yeah, and exactly. Adding it on top, so it's like they're almost like they're double dipping. And then as these rates, hotel rates go up, you know the resort rates are going to go up. So now they have two different rates that they can jack up. Right, and not to so, mention the the ticket increases that we all know are coming. Are they going to raise the price of tickets? <laughs> no, they would never do that. Um, exactly. exactly. But then it, there's nowhere else that we really want to be. I, I agree. And pl- please know that, uh, go to Walt Disney. I love, I'm going, I'm going to go. You're going to go. I'm going to go. We love it. I, my concern is I, I, because we love this company so much and, and it, we're not getting paid by the Walt Disney company, but we love going every, we all love going. I don't want to see, um, them price themselves out of the market. 
for the average, you know, that's not that's not what was ever intended for uh, as far as I know from the history that I've I've read about Walt Disney, he never wanted it to he wanted it to be for everybody. Not that's, the ultra rich. Not an upper end almost boutique. Right. Vacation. Right. And we've talked about the Disney stores at at, at uh, Disney Springs, the stores that are going in kind of as we just talked about the boutiques, uh high end stuff. Um that again, you and I aren't going to shop at. Our wives will, and then we'll get the bill. <laughs> but we, did, we got a lot of feedback from that show already about people who are, you know, those shops they don't really care to go to. Right, right. Either because they want to, uh, they don't want to spend that much money or time shopping. Right, right. Or it's just not products that they normally buy and want to use after they get home. Yeah, and if if uh, you know. If you're a local, I suppose it, it's great because you get another shopping venue. But there's so many shopping venues down there as as is. Oh. I would like them to see. I, I want to see more entertainment at uh, at Disney Springs. Here's one thing, and we talked about this earlier off the show. Mm-hmm. Disney Springs, so much shopping there. Please don't take your kids down there and expect them to be excited for the whole day. Oh yeah, yeah. I know when I was a kid and, you know, taking my kids, they can only take so much shopping. Right. Right. Well, and speaking of uh, the Disney Springs, 1975 is when uh, Lake Buena Vista opened up on this day. I forgot the this day, day in I, Disney history. See, I was so I was so lathered up. I know you were. We had to get right into this. <laughs> uh, and, and that was nice. That was so... It, that was a nice experience because it was small, it was uh, right. very intimate, and, and it wasn't an all-day thing. Now right. now it's an all-day thing. It can be a multi-day thing if you wanted to. Well, absolutely. I mean, each of these shops, all the ones that are opening up. Oh, my gosh. Some of them look phenomenal, by the way, but, you oh, know. Absolutely. I'm, I'm not saying I'm not going to go. I'm still going to Disney Springs, and I'm still going to check out all these stores. I would like to see, you know, when they uh, took out, I'm hoping they put that NBA experience in since they're taking out uh, um, Disney Quest, uh, supposedly. They keep talking about it. but Right, right. Um, I would like to see a virtual, if they're going to take out Disney Quest, put in just all virtual. You know, they've got that one ride over at uh, Epcot. Um uh, some of all thrills and oh, uh, put put a bunch of those in there you know charge five bucks or whatever to get in and what's that called like a kugel arm or a kukla arm something like that what'd you call me you heard me Jeez. <laughs> i'm sorry i didn't mean to get you off I track thought, was that wasn't that a bird that uh, is extinct the kukla arm? it might have been <laughs> up also <laughs> Anyway, I'm just saying. I'm just saying. I'm concerned with first. First off, I'm I'm concerned with seeing so much activity up the street, uh, and and their timeline seems to be so much shorter than the Disney timeline. Now, granted, Disney does it right, and I know that we're going to be happy with whatever we get. Um, and I, going back to Maelstrom, I know a lot of people were really upset about Maelstrom. My son, especially. <laughs> oh, I remember. He was all lathered up about that. But I, I think it's going to be great. I think it's going to be a fun ride. I think the lines are going to be huge. Obviously, people are still going um, with the uh, increase in, in attendance. I'm just I'm just saying I'm concerned, Tim. Help me not be so concerned. Let's see. Do you think maybe some of this stems from when they need to actually release the information? Because Disney, Disney used to uh, you know not really release things until, you know, it was already kind of, you couldn't really hide that things were going on. Well, that's true. You know, when they start, actually started construction, they would say, you know, okay, now coming is, you know, such and such. Right. There, is, you're, is you're being right. furbished for your future enjoyment. <laughs> right. You're right about that. I, I hadn't thought about that. Yeah. You'd see walls up and everybody, there'd be speculation all over the place. And right. that was, but that was before social media. Right. And everything had, we got to know right now. And then the rumors would fly and then. You know, Disney had to respond because no, we're not taking out your favorite ride. We're doing this, so that's true. That's that's a good point. Right, and then like you said, Universal. I mean, they're building things, and uh, maybe Disney feels a little bit of pressure to announce things earlier than they would have normally. And that could be. That very well could be. I think, yeah, I think that was shown with Avatar. I mean, I think they mentioned Avatar as soon as you know. Oh, right after Harry Potter. Yep. Right after Harry Potter, you yeah. know, is a. Uh, they called a. Oh, I'm forgetting the guy's name. The Avatar Cameron, Man, James Cameron. Uh, James Cameron. Yeah. So. Yeah. 
pick pick people that pick, pick people that are going to be easier to work with. That's all I'm saying. <laughs> because <laughs> you don't want somebody that's going to go, all right, we're almost done. Yeah, I want that all redone. I don't like exactly. that. <laughs> you know? And aren't they going to be coming out with more uh, Harry Potter movies or something from that universe? Uh, yeah, well, supposedly, yeah. I'm not so sure those are going to do so well. Um, but uh, the other thing that they're coming out with uh, over at Universal, Fast and Furious Thrill Ride with uh, our favorite Vin Diesel. <laughs> that should that should be well you know I can, can you can you believe those fast and furious movies do as well as they do people you know, love those things i saw the first one i thought well, it's okay yeah and then i blinked and then they're like yeah. on 12 <laughs> right right crazy uh, so i'm just i'm just concerned i needed to i needed to vent i need i needed some cleansing there like uh, we do with the uh confession show exactly uh, I'm just I, I'm very concerned about the uh, um, the speed with which these things are being done over at over at Universal and uh, as a, uh, compared to uh, Walt Disney World, and uh, you know uh, we're already kind of behind the eight ball. We own uh, Marvel, but we can't put anything in there, right? You know, so um, but the, yeah, exactly. I just I I, I want to see I want to see some let's let's you know grease some palms let's get some stuff done over there let's let's move this uh, train a little quicker get the ball rolling get that ball rolling because we don't want to be uh, we don't want to be trumped by Universal Wow I'm not sure what to say about that one <laughs> but uh, do you think maybe Star Wars will go a little bit quicker than what, what maybe we're anticipating maybe they're going to turn all these crews over and just start you know chugging it out Yeah. Yeah, I, I don't know. It's gonna be uh, it's gonna be interesting to see. Uh, I know that Universal man when they when they started on that uh, Simpsons Land, and I don't know what's all in there. I haven't been over there, so I'm not exactly sure what's what's all in that thing. Um, but that thing seemed to pop up literally overnight, like mushrooms. All of a sudden, they, it's not there, and then it's there. It's like what what ha- what just happened here? So, uh, and if we're just talking about some facades and and that kind of thing, that's that's fine. But uh, uh, putting in rides, I get it. Rides are expensive. You got all the zoning and all of that stuff, and inspections that have to be done, and they want to make sure it's done right. But uh, you know, I just want to see. I want to see some some speed. You know, how long did it take? Do you remember how long it took for uh, Fantasyland? I forgot to look that one up. The new Fantasyland. Like how long? It was it like three years? I, I, it feels like it was like three years they were working on New Fantasyland. Yeah, it seems like. Yeah, that one took a little while. So. I'm just hoping. I'm hoping that we uh, we get things moving. I want to see more at uh, Disney Springs. I want to see more entertainment venues. I want to see something else that we can do. I love Splitsville. That's there. You got something else to do. I love uh, that they have the AMC Theater. That's always been there. I think that's great. Uh, on those rainy Florida days, let's find something to do other than go and just uh, sh- you know hop from store to store. Let's find something to do. And I get it. You know the stores are paying the the rent. Right, but uh, let's get some. Uh, although I, I got to tell you, we sat and watched this guy play the guitar right across this uh, walkway there from uh, Tea Traders, and uh, man, he was good. <laughs> wow. He was really good. It was that was enjoyable, you know. So some of the live entertainment they have, I just they they need to keep that going and increase a little bit. Give the kids something to do too. Exactly, the kids need some stuff to do over there. Yeah, I'd I'd like to see a nice, a really good, nice big playground. At Disney Springs mm-hmm, mm-hmm. for the kids, you know? right? They used to have a little play set over there for the kids back in the day. Yeah, you know, hey, here's an idea. What's now, that? I know Disney never uses our ideas. Never brunch. Uh, so uh, here's an idea. How about a just a massive play area for kids, and then you treat it almost like you do on the cruise ships. The parents here. Here's your here's your pager. Mm-hmm. Your kids are good. We got you know. 50 uh, Disney uh, uh, supervisors here. We're going to watch watch your kids. The kids are going to be fine on this playground. You go. Nobody's allowed to leave. The kids aren't going to go anywhere. Right. You guys go and have a good time, almost like a Chuck E. Cheese where you got the, the you know hand stamp and all of that stuff and whatever. Um, I think that'd be awesome. Free child care. They'll become the most, they'll become the most popular <laughs> tourist attraction in, in Orlando. Absolutely. <laughs> Here, I'm going to drop my kids off. I'm going shopping. And then you go to work. <laughs> I, sh- I shop every day for eight, <laughs> o- eight hours. 
I love this place so much. I found the timeline on Fantasyland, by the way. You'll find this interesting. All right. It was announced in 2009 at the D23 Expo. 2009. And then that came out. Well, that, that was pretty quick then. Well, and then the Seven Doors Mine Train. Yeah. Which they said, you know, completed the Fantasyland expansion. Right. 2014. Yeah, see, and that's five years. Five years. We can't do <laughs> that. We cannot do that. That's all I'm saying. Mr. Iger, tear down these walls. <laughs> <laughs> no, there are a couple of other baby, baby steps in between. In 2012, the Dumbo opened. Right, yeah, yeah. But, you know, it's actually to complete it. And yeah. I always think, you know, Star Wars, you, you don't want to open that in stages. I think you'd rather just open that up and have it go. Yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. I mean, you got to have more than six guys working on stuff. All right, we're done with this. Let's go over here now and work on this. Uh, I'm Right? I mean, no. No, I'm sure they have a bunch of people over there thinking things up. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Although, hey. you know, they might be stre- stretched too. I mean, they've been doing Shanghai and... Right, right. Disney, Disneyland and California Adventure. I mean, there's lots of stuff going on. A lot of stuff going on. And, and, and it's like my mother always used to say about road construction. It's going to be fantastic when it's done. So <laughs> just just deal with it for now because it's going to be great when it's done. Exactly. So uh, we're looking forward to it. Can't wait until uh, uh, all of this new stuff is going to be done at Walt Disney World. Let's get some new uh, resorts in there that are going to be more family friendly, I say. And... Uh, I, I I am. I'm excited. Look, I'm not slamming Disney. You guys know that. I just I just want them to step up the game just a little bit. Show where we had to voice some concerns. Okay. <laughs> I'm okay. Are you okay? I'm worried about you. <laughs> you get your blood pressure checked. Uh, I gotta go. I gotta go take my pill right now. Uh, <laughs> Tim, that is all I've got. Oh uh, well, for Angry Bob, I'm Tim Scott. You can find me on Twitter <laughs> at Resort Loop Tim on Facebook at Tim Resort Loop Scott and the website. Resortloop.com. I'm Resort Loop Bob on the Twitter and Instagram. Like us on Facebook. Rate us on iTunes. Go to Walt Disney World. I'm not saying don't go. Go. It's a good Ooh. time. You know go. it's a good time. And uh, what else should people do, Tim? Everybody, please go out and share the gateway to the magic. See you, everybody. Walt, everyone in the state has been thrilled with the announcement of your purchases. Uh, located some 12 miles south of Orlando, and of course they are all excited to know just what type of attraction or what type of usage will be made of this great location. We have many things in mind that could make this unique and different than Disneyland. Will it be a Disneyland? Well, uh, I've always said there will never be another Disneyland, Governor. And uh, I think it's going to work out that way, but it will be the equivalent of Disneyland.